and we want to make clear at this point that there is no budget surplus. Uh, it's built into the budget so we can meet our ongoing obligations, and that's why it's so important to do the two-year budget and the five-year projection. We liken their claims to the following. A mom and dad get paid on Monday, and they head home to greet their kids, and the kids are at the door uh, insisting and crying out to spend more and more money as they know that the checking account is full, and they're insisting on things that they want. Uh, but the mother and father understand something. They understand that on Friday the mortgage is due. Uh, in these situations, everyone knows the parents and families have to make sacrifices, and sometimes they are tempted also to spend more money, but ultimately they look out for the uh, well-being, the long-term financial, uh, and the best interests of the family. Spending all the money would leave them without the funds to keep the roof over their heads and really to sustain the other expenses that keep the family fed, warm, and safe. That's what occurs on July 1st. The bills come due for the reckless, irresponsible spending of the legislature. The budget that we have presented fixes these practices, and we look forward to the future and the long-term well-being, but we cannot ignore the past and without a plan to correct it. To do so would uh, prolong the problem and violate an honest budget that would end the games and the gimmicks that lead to an unsustainable budget.